Our coverage begins with a ceremony at Fort William Gardens, which saw veterans, military personnel, and community members come out to honor those who put their lives on the line for their country. Jessica Clement has more. The annual Remembrance Day ceremony at Fort William Gardens gave residents the chance to pay tribute to those who put their lives on the line for Canada. <laughs> Around 2,000 people came out for the ceremony, with many community members and groups coming up to lay a wreath in honor of the thousands of Canadians who served and sacrificed in armed conflicts. This year's ceremony was attended by Elmer Ald, who was believed to be one of the last World War II veterans in Thunder Bay. He served in the Canadian Navy during the Battle of the Atlantic and says like every year, he's thinking about his friends and fellow Navy sailors who never made it home. What I always think about, I see all my, all my friends in some of the ships that got defeated. I was in the water for an hour when the HMC is valley field went down. They, t they t tied a rope around us and put us over the side trying to pull the guys out of the water. You never forget it. Another one too is HMC is Sheboygan. Another one got torpedoed. Think of all the ships that sunk during the Second World War. It's terrible. Ald participated in the passing of the torch ceremony, where he handed the torch to Private Caitlin Bueller of the Thunder Bay Army Reserves. It was such an honor to have that Passover, and especially to represent like the reserves here as a whole and just the whole ceremony is just really meaningful and especially to the past and everything it's continuing just the whole meaning of it it's really important so I feel really honored to do this. Just thinking about everyone in the past who has served and the sacrifice they made, country they made for us it's it's also important and I'm just here to honor them and continue that keep that with us. This year's keynote speaker was Mayor Jim Payne of Superior, Wisconsin, who was a veteran in the U.S. military. He described remembrance as a year-long calling and not just a one-day occasion. Local Navy veteran Roy L'Esperance said the message really resonated with him. Not just one day. One day just didn't do everything. It was a matter of a whole five well, days. And, you know, and to me, we should be remembering all the time. Jessica Clement, TBT News.